Hey everyone, so I showed you around my shop some, but honestly, my office is way more polished and I spend a ton of time in there editing videos for you all, as well as just doing my normal day job work. So let's go check that out. Well, this is the office. Olive green seems pretty fitting. And I've got a desk space, I've got a camera space, and then I've got just my bookshelf over here, which I've got some little mementos and stuff. But you know, wait, before we get into any of these details, I think, uh, I think we need a little montage. So let's get into it. So starting with my desk, this is an autonomous standing legs kit. I bought it a couple of years ago and it has been fantastic. It still works great. I haven't had any problems whatsoever. On top of the desk is a Carlby countertop. This used to be full length at 74 inches, but I've cut it down a little bit so that it fits in this space better since this wall is smaller than my previous office. And the monitor I'm using is a Dell 34 inch monitor. It's a 60 Hertz IPS monitor with a 3440 by 1440 resolution if I remember correctly and it's been really nice it has this dual feature where I can hook up two computers and run the same peripherals like your mouse and keyboard on both computers through the monitor so that's been like my favorite feature of this monitor I also really like just having an ultra wide monitor I used to have two monitors I also had three at one point which were all 27 inches and the 34 inch monitor just seems like the perfect combination of monitor screen space. So my smaller computer that I use for work is just a little custom built PC with Linux running on it. And that's just to run a couple different proprietary softwares. But the bulk of the work that I do for YouTube and just my day to day work is all on my MacBook Pro. And I believe it's a 2022, but it's the Apple Silicon 16 inch MacBook Pro with 32 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabytes storage. Uh, I've been super happy with this. This thing is an absolute beast and it's what I continue to use. Uh, I made a video on it when it came out and uh, yeah, I haven't changed my computer since. Haven't really felt the need. Occasionally it bogs a little on rendering, but um, I think it still is plenty powerful for everything I'm doing. On top of my computer, I keep a 12.9 inch iPad Pro with the smart keyboard and also the um, Apple Pencil, I think it's called. Um, I use this a lot for school, but I don't use it quite as much anymore, uh, but it's still really handy. It acts as a dual monitor. If I ever go on trips, I can hook it up to my computer. And it also is really nice for drawing out things, taking notes during meetings, etc. So um, I would not necessarily recommend an iPad to everyone, but there are some purposes that it's really good at. Typically, I either listen to music through my Bose Companion 3 speakers. I think Bose makes a pretty good product. Uh, but otherwise, I use these Sony headphones for when I'm editing, and it just helps me to be able to pick out the sounds a little bit better. So that's the bulk of my desk. Uh, other than that, I've just got a couple random Amazon monitor mounts and a power supply and light from Autonomous, which, so it's nice to have this power station because I run a laptop at home, but then I take this laptop wherever I go. And so having my power supply for my laptop easily accessible so I can unplug it take it with me and then plug it back in is really nice. I could solve this problem with getting like a different monitor or buying more chargers, but that's just more money and less I can spend on other stuff. So this has worked out really well. And it also just allows me to easily plug in a charger for my phone or the iPad or whatever directly in front of me for temporary use. So I actually ended up moving this out of my office and into one of our rooms that's part of an addition on the house. And the, ba the main reason for that is this has these two hoses, which didn't really fit with any of the furniture I have pushed up close next to my windows, but that's okay. So um, this though was sent out to me by New Air. It's a little AC and heater system. It's pretty cool and it's completely portable. It's got these two hoses that run out the window. I really like it because 
We had a window AC unit here that was really massive since it's a bigger room. And it really took up like a bunch of the window. And so that was super frustrating. You couldn't look out the window. And this honestly works a lot better. That window AC unit was getting kind of old. And so this is really cool. It's got a bunch of different features. I'm just gonna show them to you quick. So it's not super easy to see, but actually on the front of the AC unit, there is a little display that shows the temperature. Uh, but if we click over here, the power button, that will quickly open up this vent, which helps to direct the air this direction. This is to set the different fan speeds, which I have it on the lowest so you can actually hear me. Try and stand out of the breeze so it doesn't cause like a bad audio. And then you can change the temperature. 61 is the lowest, we could turn it up to 68. There's also a little number area right there showing the temperature. We can set a timer over here and then there's five different modes, I believe. There's cooling, then there's dehumidifying, then there's just a fan mode, then there's a heat mode and it goes back to cooling. Okay, so there's only four modes. But that's everything in a nutshell. There's a cold air intake and then a hot air, uh, I guess, exhaust outside. And so far this has been absolutely amazing. It works really well. And uh, if you wanna use the heater function, I think you have to hook up a little drain hose, but I haven't used that function yet. Anyways, really like this. Big thank you to New Air for sending this out and uh, sponsoring this video. So let's get back to the office. So next is my bookshelf, and this isn't necessarily, you know, something I use really often, but holds a bunch of my books and, you know, some of my uh, cold brew coffee glass jars that I thought were cool from Dogwood Coffee. Shout out to them, that's where we host uh, Minnesota Rigs and Coffee. Uh, but I've also got this raptor and just some other plants and other decorations on the bookshelf. It's really nice because it's a place that I can keep things that I like to look at or remember, but it also functions as a nice background when I'm in Zoom meetings and things of that nature. Lastly is my little camera filming setup here. So uh, basically what it is, is it's a small husky drawer that I found uh, that was the same depth as this fridge that I bought like four years ago from Best Buy. It's an insignia fridge and I just love the way it looks. I love having that glass door. I love the stainless steel front. And so I needed to find a little drawer that would fit in this little wall space and sit next to the fridge nicely. So uh, that's what I did. And then I just built this small little countertop on top of it uh, out of pine construction wood. Like it's nothing fancy. All I did was rip the boards so that I could glue them all together nicely and they would be, you know, flat and, and clean. And so uh, that's what I did. And it looks pretty good in my opinion. Uh, it's got a walnut stain on it with a clear coat. And then I've gotten really into adding these flush mounted uh, power supplies. So there's those two outlets and the three USB ports. They're so helpful for charging like my Apple Watch or any camera batteries or you know if you had drone batteries plug it in and charge it so it's really nice having this little bay area because I don't really like to keep all my camera gear setting on my desk it just really gets cluttered quickly so having a dedicated space where I can store that equipment charge it above that space I have this huge whiteboard and this is basically just my big planner for YouTube so it's where I brainstorm my video ideas where I schedule my content, you know, what weekends I should do what, et cetera. Being that I'm not a full-time YouTuber, it's really important for me to have good time management so that I can put out content consistently. So basically my office is made up of this corner where I've got kind of my camera bay where I store all that equipment. You know, I've just got a closet that stores all kinds of random office stuff. And then I've got my bookshelf, which I've got a bunch of cool mementos on. Yeah, and then lastly, I have my desk space, which obviously I use all the time and I've really dialed in over the years and it works really well. Well, I hope you thought that was interesting. I like to kind of show what I use on a day-to-day -day basis because I'm sure there's people out there that are interested and there's lots of people on YouTube that like to see desk setup tours. But honestly, for all the creative people out there in the overlanding community, I'm sure a lot of you like to kind of see this side because uh, you've probably got a similar space of your own. So. Thank you so much for the support. I hope you liked the video. And that being said, I will catch you all in the next video.